December 5th. Pursue the obstacle. This sounds like some adulting BS to me. <laughs> but let's check it out, shall we? Pursue the obstacle. It will set you free. When I came upon the mountain, I was in a hurry. I thought it would take too long to make my way around. So I set out to break a path through. Each rock and branch felt like a waste of time. If only the mountain weren't in the way. I cut my legs and arms as I rushed along. It grew harder to breathe and I lost all sense of direction. Now I had to climb high enough to see. Once I broke the tree line, something in me had to see the top. Then I hurried my way up and strangely, as I worked the climb, step after step, I kept rising, but felt as though I were going nowhere. Finally, I broke the clouds. I had never seen sun on top of clouds. Wow. I sat in a clearing on a cliff, the light on top of my head like a cloud. Suddenly, reaching the top or getting beyond the mountain no longer seemed important. I liked it up here and felt that I could live on the mountain, but I had to return. I had to eat. I needed love. But now when someone asks about breaking through what's in the way or being in a hurry, I look both ways and say, pursue the obstacle. It will set you free. Ah, I love that. This story invites us to honor each obstacle as something flowing in its own right in the universal stream to see ourselves and the obstacle as two limbs of the same tree, drifting in the same river, bumping into each other, and even blocking one another for a moment. Looking at obstacles this way, we are asked not to oppose what blocks us as something mounting its will against our own, for the obstacles will simply give our resistance back to us. We are being asked not to empower or perpetuate the life of the obstacle, but to step aside if we can with openness to the energy of the obstacle, much like the ancient art of Aikido, where instead of blocking the punch, you help the punch move past you. I was totally just thinking that, oh my gosh, you know, it's how you use the other person's force and energy almost not against them, but you let it flow and it, you know, you get out of the way or you assist it in its flow pattern. Oh my goodness. All the while we are invited to question that in us, which insists that what is before us is an obstacle in the first place. It may not be so. It may be so. It may be something small that our history of struggle has enlarged to into tragedy or bad luck. So if we can, we must focus on our relationship to the stream and not to the things being carried alongside us. If something appears to be blocking our way, we must try to understand what is moving it and what is moving us. If our movement in the world is still blocked, perhaps we are meant to be still. We must not try to damage ourselves unnecessarily by trying to force a movement to happen before it's time. Mm. Now this is really deep today, wow. People, most people just hate waiting, me included. I get impatient, but man, So there was a time when, you know, strange things were happening to me and I just kept Googling everything. I just needed to know. I just needed to know what the heck that meant. And I kept trying to do research and trying to make sense of it all. And one of the voices that, you know, I was hearing back then was like, stop just stop stop researching all the information you need will be given to you at the right time now i'm gonna say that was 
at least six years ago, something like that. And just now, some of that information is being given to me. And I was not waiting patiently at first. I wanted to know what the heck certain things meant and what it meant to me and did it mean anything for anybody else. Um, but that's, you know, they, that's how you learn patience <laughs> is you get no other choice but to be patient. And so fortunately life comes along and distracts you, hopefully, as it did me to where, you know, maybe sometimes I even completely forget about what it was I was waiting for. And then the information comes and it's like, oh my gosh, it always feels so profound. Like I waited for this answer for so long and now, holy moly, here it is. So that's definitely a cool thing, but it's hard to wait. I, I understand the waiting. It's hard. Okay, ready? Mindful moment. Identify the biggest obstacle in your life at present. What is it keeping you from? Describe the obstacle as a piece of nature that has its own history. Is it like a shell being broken by the surf? Or a stone tumbling inside a landslide? or like a small deer frightened in the middle of a busy road? How is what you want or need colliding with what it wants or needs? Mm. That's gonna take some introspection there. Wow. <sighs> well, I just, I'm grateful that whoever is watching this is watching it. And I do hope your life is going somewhat easily right now. <laughs> it's the holiday season. It can kind of be rough on a lot of us. Um, and just know that I think you are marvelous. And I appreciate you throwing, <laughs> I appreciate you throwing up. No, <laughs> I appreciate you showing up and I don't know, I feel a little bit more connected to someone, to someone's and I hope that wherever you are in your day, it's been wonderful and I hope the rest of it is wonderful. Also. <laughs>